worst one I've seen. We're just having fun. The next thing I know, everyone got sick. My own doctor says I have no typhoid germs. I have committed no crime, but still I'm treated like an outcast. This is injustice. Esa, do you know Prophet Ayub was so strong and patient when he was so sick? Oh really mommy? What happened to him? Prophet Ayub get a chronic disease until his friend with him. He doesn't complain but he keep on praying to God to give him strength and faster recovery. You must be like him Esa. Okay mommy, I will be strong as him. This is only a fit. <coughs> 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 Mr. Warren is worried about the health of her daughter, so he filed a report to George Thompson saying that her fever were caught when they stayed at the homestay. George Thompson, the owner of the homestay that Mr. Warren currently staying, was afraid that the water source of his homestay has been contaminated and are the cause of the Therefore, he hired a professional health inspector, George Super, to help him identify the source. Hello? Is this the health department? I need someone to check the sanitary at my house because people are recently getting sick here and had type of fever after eating my fresh, fresh water clam. Can I have someone to come here? Okay, thank you. I'm George Thompson. I'm Jaja Sopo and this is my assistant Hans. I'm Hans, nice to meet you. So what's the problem you're facing right now? Well, uh, let me show you. Uh, recently, my customers are getting sick and had type of people after they eating our fresh water clam. Oh. As they are me. Well, you're in luck because Miss Sober is specialized in that field. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, is this the kitchen? Uh, yes. May I? Sure, sure. Let me open the door. sure that fresh water clam is the culprit. Mr. Thompson, is it okay if we integrate your customers and workers here? If you did what it takes to make this place decent again, absolutely. Hans, will you help me? Certainly not. Um, 
they I don't know what happened but they he's sober, just he's sober. I have interrogated all the people on the list. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm listening. But not all of them who were sick ate the clam. Nani? If it's not the clam, then there must be someone who's spreading them. Mr. Thompson, uh, who usually cook your food here? Most of our food was cooked by our previous cook. But she already left the house. If I'm not mistaken, her name is Miss Mary Mellon. Miss, are you assuming the cook was the culprit all along? Which is why we need to find out. Thank you, Mr. Thompson, for having us here. Uh, we'll update you if we get any new information later. No, we the one who should thank you. I'm sorry, but Mrs. Lucy is not feeling well today. Um, no, actually, we're looking for Miss Mary. Is she here? Um, I'm Mary. How can I help you? Oh, hello, Mary. My name is Hans. This is the health inspector, Miss Silver. Can we come in? Uh, yes, please, do come in. I'm Georgia Soper, Health Inspector. I was sent by your previous employer, Mr. Thompson. And recently, he said that um, his customers were diagnosed with type of fever. I see, that's terrible. Uh, but what does that have to do with me? You see, Mary, I don't know how to say this, but... Uh, you are one of the suspects that might be cause of this problem. I may have been a cook like that place, but I never developed any type of symptoms. I know, which is why we need to prove that by giving me some of your specimens. Specimen? What I mean is your blood, urine, and stool sample. What? Miss Mary, calm down. No! Get out! Get out right now before I poke you in this fork! Go! And stay out! The health inspector and her assistant were kicked out as they do not possess any proof. They are not able to capture Mary Mellon. Mary then quit her job and flee away again, making it hard for the health department to track her down. Josh Soper then decided to find proof by tracking her previous employer, 1907. Finally, they are able to find her trace. 